Calvary. Hello, folks. Welcome back to another Pastor's Chat. It's been a while. It has been a while. So, but we are sitting here and watching the snow fall, um, and we're excited to uh, talk with our family here at Calvary Bible Fellowship Church. Um, and today, we, I'm excited about what we have to talk about today. I am too, yeah. So, uh, we're going to be talking about a new series called Roots. Um, and we're going to get into that in a minute, but uh, I wanted to start by just saying that Calvary has a great, uh, um, I would say, a tradition and history and good teaching here at Calvary um, over years. And a lot of people, they would have said that their faith grew here um, mm -hmm. and would said that, that great classes of learning about God's word, but additionally learning their doctrine and their theology from the different teachers from many, many years. Um, and, and so... We know that is something that people desire here right. at Calvary. Um, and so we're starting a new series that uh, Pastor Peter is going to be talking about. And we're going to have a little discussion together here over some prepared questions about this series, mm -hmm. uh, about how it came about, uh, how is it different, um, and who is it for. And we're hoping that it will excite you and for many people to join uh, this series and, and sign up and, and, and come along for the journey. So, all right. Peter, are you ready? I'm ready. Good. Me too. Let's do this. <laughs> so how is this different from a theology class? So, Okay, if you, um, if you were to go to a theology class, a typical theology class, maybe a Bible doctrine class in Sunday school, or if you were to go to a, an adult Bible institute that a local Bible college or seminary offered, um, or a class in college, you would probably end up with a book like this. Okay. Can I hold that? Uh, uh, yes, you can. It's about 900 pounds, and uh, this is uh, probably one of the best oh, systematic yes. theology books around uh, by Dr. Wayne Grudem. The, uh, you'd be given a book. It would, it would be going in a certain order, starting from uh, systematic theology is basically compiling uh, what we know about different subjects mm -hmm. through the Bible. Okay, so it's a synthesis of um, what the Bible teaches on God, on salvation, on Jesus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you would pursue uh, that topic or, or those topics in in a pretty similar order, regardless of which kind of class you took. This is different in that rather than starting from that perspective, I wanted to follow it more from the standpoint. Um, of the the practical aspect a systematic theology bible doctrine class is going to follow it more logically in terms of who is god and then we move on from there into somewhat natural progression what i wanted to do is take a class that started with asking the question um who are we hmm. and then moving into the gospel dealing with uh, the themes of the gospel message, and more naturally progressing through uh, the subjects of theology in a way that a person might go through their Christian life. Yeah. So the tougher things will be at the end in some respects, but um, we'll cover the vast majority of topics that are covered in books like this, not anywhere near as much in depth, but um, that's the way we'll approach it. Yeah, and I... I I got really excited about the series as well because, you know, I think many times Christians get very overwhelmed or intimidated by even the word theology. Mm -hmm. And um, theology is just you growing in a deeper knowledge of who God is. Right. Um, and as theology, like we said, it looks at, it looks at God's word and says, uh, from God's word, these are the things that we learn about him. And then words get assigned to him, uh, right. get assigned to those things. Um, but Every one of us, no matter where we are in our faith, we're forming beliefs. We are. And so it's, but it's really important to make sure that we know what is a, a, a biblical belief and a non-biblical belief. Absolutely. And that's why theology is so important. Very. But not only, not only is it important to know, to know it, but it's important as it, it will impact you as you live your life as a believer. Um, and for me, when this Peter got this thing going, um, and we'll talk about that in a second, um, and launched it recently, I got so excited as I signed up. I, I texted Roots to 610-708-1100 and watched the intro, video, well, uh, the intro video. And then after that, I got to watch your first uh, video that was number zero, right? right titled right. The Prequel. That's yeah. right. 
title isn't theology boring. Right. And I, I was sitting there washing dishes at the sink, just taking it in, and I, I was moved to excitement about this series and following it. Um, you, I was truly convinced. I walked away going, you know, he started off saying like, this is what many times we feel like, that theology is boring. But I left going, I'm excited about this Roots series and can't wait for this next video. And it's not always, I don't always have that response to something that I decide to join or go after. And um, so you just hit a lot of felt needs, as you had said, that, um, you know, we're busy people, um, we're, we live cra we, we live busy lives, and many yeah. times this doesn't fit in. And we'll get to that in a second. But let me ask this, how did this all come about? All right. Well, um, in terms of how it came about for Calvary, uh, when I was brought on staff back in uh, the late August, uh, early September time period, um, one of the things that we talked about in addition to doing pastoral care was my involvement in teaching, preaching, and that kind of thing. And we began to talk about what that might look like. At, at that point, of course, we're in the middle of the, the COVID situation, mm -hmm. so you're not going to start a new class uh, for people to come to. But uh, Dave had said that there was an interest on the part of a number of people for some online teaching opportunities. Now, Dick Regal was doing a great job with his class at Acts, but there seemed to be a desire for additional teaching things. So we began to mull that around, and then you and I had some significant conversations yes. after that, in which we began to bounce ideas off of each other, and through that came the idea of doing this extended series. I, I've said that I have about 80 topics. It'll probably end up being closer to 100 by the yeah. time we're done. And and that may seem overwhelming, but remember, they're only seven minutes long, so we can't cover as much in each session. And a week at a time, one, and, uh, one yeah, each week. Yeah, a week at a time. So it's, you know, we began to talk about that. I worked out an outline, brought it back to you and Dave a couple of times. I think I'm on my fifth or sixth revision um, before I finally settled on exactly how I wanted to approach this. And um, so that, that was how it came about in terms of Calvary. But this has been something that's been on my mind for probably 15 or 20 years. Uh, as, as the culture has moved to a less friendly um, stance toward Christianity, uh, however you want to describe that, I began to think about what would happen in different scenarios if some of our freedoms as Christians were taken away from us. And not only that, as we're exposed more and more to a secular way of thinking, I began to wonder how would my people, mm -hmm. and I'm talking now about my people at my, my former church, would my people be able to stand? Would they be able to face the uh, attacks on their faith, whether they be uh, overt or just subtle kind of wearing down uh, of, of their thinking by a constant input of non-biblical ideas? And so it had been something that I had been toying with for quite a while, uh, that, that I really wanted to see a mechanism whereby Christians could learn theology, what they believe, but do so in a way that reflects on how we think, uh, that, that asks the question, well, why does this matter? Well, James chapter 1. Right. Right? You know, uh, be doers of the word and not hearers only. Right. Right? not deceiving yourselves mm -hmm. um, is what you're running after. Um, and, and that's what we're aiming to do. We want the theology to be something that impacts the way we live our life. It yeah. shouldn't just be something we're soaking in. Going back to the book of James again, it's the writer says to that same people that, you know, it's one thing, it's one thing to be filled with a bunch of knowledge of who God and who Christ is. And, but then he says, right after that, he says, yeah, for good, even the demons know who Jesus is and they shudder. Yeah. Basically saying that 
the demons know their theology better than some believers, and mm -hmm. the demons, because of that, shudder in right. fear. Right. And the point is that our theology should impact us so that it pa it makes us more passionately passionate to live boldly for Christ. Right. And you were, as you were talking, I was just thinking about the title of this too. That as life is difficult and society, as, as Christians, as we live, as we strive to live our lives as Christians in a society that's secular and different, are we going to be how are our roots going to be deep? Right. And so, not just in a protective sense of, oh, I've got to make sure that I'm stable, but so that we can be effective within the culture we live in. Yes. Uh, the better we know what we believe, uh, the better we'll be able to represent Christ in a, in a lost world. Yeah. So, Peter, who's this for? Uh, this is for everybody. Uh, and I, I guess what I, I mean by that is that a, a young Christian, a new Christian, a person who's not even a Christian yet, who wants to understand Christianity, would benefit from this. But after that, anybody who is involved in uh, trying to follow Christ can refresh their beliefs and uh, have a, perhaps a renewed understanding for what Christians believe. And so it's something that anyone, I think, can benefit from. I would also add, too, that for our church at Calvary Bell Fellowship Church, this is where our roots are. Yeah. Um, so as he's going about this, for our leaders and for our people here, or the people that are getting to know Calvary, this will let you know where our church stands yeah. theologically. Right. Um, and that's important as well. You know, at our church, we make sure that we teach the, the doctrines that we believe to be true to God's Word. Um, and you'll hear as we go through this that you will hear that this stuff is directly comes right from Scripture as we handle uh, the, the handle this uh, the theology in seven minutes and help you see why the theology matters for how you live your life as a Christian. Yes, right. Um, so as we just close out here, I want to encourage you to join uh, along in this series. And this is the way it's going to work. You can text ROOTS, R-O-O-T-S, to 610-708-1100. Okay? Once again, right. that's ROOTS, R-O-O-T-S, right. to 610-708-1100. What's going to happen, you're going to get a follow-up message that will send you a link to your very first video to watch from yours truly. Pastor Peter. Um, and then after that point, you're signed up, and each week you're going to receive a new video that you'll have the link to, and you can follow along with the series. But what also is neat, pa uh, Pastor Peter said that he wants to engage you, he wants to be able to answer your questions. You can, that same number that you're texting, you can message Pastor Peter if you have a question or you're confused about something. And one thing that's neat about that this is an ongoing series is if there is something that a lot of people have have a question about, he can decide to take a take a week off yeah. of where you're at and address something within that doctrine question. So right. someone might say, I don't really understand what you're saying about sanctification. I don't want no understand what this means. And if enough people are questioning, he said Pastor Peter might say, Hey, you know, I'm actually gonna answer this this week in the video that's coming out. Um, so Get excited for that. Yeah, uh, that that's something that I think is important because I don't want this to just be something that people listen to. And if they have questions to just kind of shrug and say, oh, well, uh, I want people to feel free to text me. Um, they can reach me at peter at calvarybfc.org if they want to do it that way. Um, I want people to feel free to interact. And uh, I will do my very best to answer every question or text in a timely manner. Yeah. So feel free as you're wa watching along. If there's a question or if you need clarification, if you have that text uh, that text message open, you, you can just write back to him right from there. Right. So um, and he'll get back to you as he can, as he said, as a, yeah. on a timely manner. So again, follow along with the root series. I, I'm signed up. I'm excited uh, for it. As I said earlier, so that six ten seven zero eight eleven hundred text roots to that number. So. Thanks for, thanks for telling people that you've signed up, Tim. I appreciate that. <laughs> Paid advertising right there. Uh, one other thing, too, that I think is important real quick is that uh, if, if you, you get the email or, or the text, rather, that uh, the video is, is available, it doesn't mean that you have to watch it right, right away, obviously. Yeah. You can continue to work through this series at your own pace. Uh, seven minutes is an easy thing to do. We didn't want people to come home from a long day and um, or, or be at home with the kids for a long day. And then if they want to follow this, feel that they're in for an hour-long lecture. Right. Seven minutes is, is doable uh, while you're doing the dishes or mm -hmm. 
you know, whatever. And um, if you miss a week, you're going to be able to catch up without it, without feeling like oh, I'm too far behind. It will not be that way. Well, thank you for joining us for our pastor's chat this week. So we hope you choose to follow the Root series. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.